Hello Vaino community, long time no see, it's Mikko back again in the Vaino corner. It's been a very long time since my last vinyl update video, but here I am back again, so cheers. I think I've bought uh, shitloads of vinyl since my last video, so I'm not sure where to start with, but uh, this time I will show you a couple of my uh, birthday presents and some other stuff and uh, even one of my vinyl holy grails. So, Stay with me and uh, we see cheer again. So, cheers. Uh, let's start with uh, my wife's birthday present. Uh, she gave me a gift card to my local record shop X and uh, I immediately knew what I'm going to buy from there. It was this Steven Wilson hand cannot erase. Uh, what can I say about this album? It's already already done. Everything has has said already. Uh, one of the greatest albums of the year maybe one of the greatest albums of this decade uh, and the package is, is beautiful nice artwork and uh, cool gatefold and it came with this black polylined inner sleeves And the labels are fantastic. The deluxe edition from this album is, is absolutely a monster. But uh, I decided to get this uh, vinyl version came with this kind of case scope advertisement and uh, here's the second album or second vinyl disc and uh, it came with very very cool booklet with the lyrics and uh, nice, nice photos. So, even though this was uh, pretty expensive, I think it was uh, well worth the money. I think this is exactly the way Final releases should be made these days, and uh, it even came with the download code. So, very good example of a good vinyl release. Uh, lots of cool artwork, black polylined inner sleeves, and a thick booklet and a download code. So well worth the money. And next up uh, I bought the birthday present to myself. Uh, <clears throat> I got the gift card from my uh, local record shop X 
or uh, they have that kind of uh, system and if you buy something for 17 euros you will get uh, one stamp and uh, when you got uh, 10 stamps you'll get uh, 17 euros uh, discount and uh, for some reason I had 10 stamps from there so I used the uh, discount and uh, I bought one hell of a soundtrack Hans Zimmer Interstellar uh, from the Christopher Nolan movie. Uh, if you haven't seen this, make sure to watch watch the movie. Uh, one hell of a masterpiece, in my opinion. Uh, and the soundtrack. Winery is, is, is very cool too. Uh, this is from mu Music and Vinyl. It came with this kind of uh, plastic bag. It says uh, at the movies it's some kind of their uh, soundtrack series. But uh, this is very smelly PVC bag. So Make sure not to use this. I read uh, horror stories that this kind of uh, PVC plastic bags will rot your vinyl. So throw these away and use uh, decent uh, protective sleeves. But uh, let's see this again. Uh, very very cool cool artwork. Unfortunately, only. Uh, white inner sleeves but uh, they are good polylined inner sleeves and uh, I think this is a uh, brilliant there's a uh, Morse code on the labels which says uh, which side is which and uh, nice little detail if you have seen the movie and uh, here's the second vinyl and uh, it came with this uh, four page booklet with uh, stories about uh, composing the music and everything. So make sure to watch the movie. I even bought it on uh, Blu-ray. Uh, this is a uh, double Blu-ray and there's a very interesting documentary of making making of the movie and also the making of the music. Uh, what can I say? Excellent, excellent movie. I, I'll bet that this will be some kind of a classic in the future. Uh, even if you don't like uh, sci-fi movies, make sure to watch this. Maybe even girls would like this. And uh, the music is a big part of the movie. This would have been totally different uh, if they have used, for example, a Miami Vice soundtrack on this. Uh, not that there's anything wrong with Miami Vice soundtrack, but uh, maybe it wouldn't have fit on this this movie excellent excellent soundtrack and I'm very very happy to have this on vinyl and uh, this seems to be pretty expensive 
already so if you want to get it uh, make sure to buy it fast and next uh, one hell of a deal Pink Floyd uh, the endless river There's an interesting story behind this. Uh, this uh, vinyl costs uh, 44.95 at my local record store. And there's no way I would ever uh, pay that much on this. Uh, maybe it's a uh, quite good mu music, it's uh, Pink Floyd after all, but it's still some kind of uh, leftovers and uh, I'm not sure what to think about this, but uh, good music, but not, not nowhere near my favorite Pink Floyd album, but uh, I happen to find this for uh, $6.99 so I had to grab it. I think that was uh, one hell of a deal. And the package is, is so beautiful. I'm not sure what, what this material is, but it's a uh, uh, matte finish and uh, it feels very nice. And uh, Here's the original inner sleeves, very thick, thick, uh, glossy inner sleeves. Which way? This way. Yeah, and uh, I've replaced it, them with this black polylined inner sleeves. It came with this huge, huge booklet, 16 pages with uh, lyrics and uh, photos. So very cool, cool package. Uh, I've never bought it for. Uh, 45 euros, but uh, with uh, 7 euros I I had to grab it. Next I got the coupon code from cdon.com as a birthday present. And uh, usually when I get the coupon codes or, or gift certificates or something like that I try to buy something that I would would uh, never normally buy or, or something very special and uh, this time I bought some jazz Miles Davis kind of blue everyone knows this album but for me uh, I, I don't know anything about jazz, so I think this was this was uh, nice to get finally. Uh, this is uh, music on vinyl reissue uh, remastered stereo. I haven't heard the mono version or any early pressings, but I think this sounds absolutely fantastic and uh, it came with this cool 6i label and uh, 
What can I say about this album? Uh, the best selling jazz album of all time and uh, for a reason. Uh, let's continue. Next some King Crimson, here's Red and uh, this is the 200 gram super heavyweight vinyl reissue. Uh, I got the coupon code to Amazon so I had to buy this from there. It came with the download code and uh, it's it's very very heavy stuff. Uh, no printed inner sleeve or or booklet or anything. Nice pink label. Uh, I'm not sure if there's some kind of printed inner sleeve or or booklet or lyric sheet with the original one. But uh, many people seem to think that this is their favorite King, Crims King Crimson album. Uh, maybe I will have to listen to this some more. Anyway, very good stuff and uh, I'm happy to have this in my collection. Uh, I think I have all the 200 gram. King Crimson reissues now, so far. Last but not least, uh, another birthday present to myself, or something like that. Uh, one of my biggest vinyl holy grails. Uh, it's a important album for me personally, uh, but there's only one vinyl pressing from from the album, and uh, it uh, seems to be very expensive every time I see it. I've been trying to get it from. Uh, eBay and uh, Discogs several several times but every time it's it has been uh, too expensive for me but uh, it seemed seemed like uh, the price is going higher and higher all the time so uh, I decided that I will have to buy it if I ever want to get it so are you ready? Grab some beverage. It's finally here. Brave New World by Iron Maiden. Their sort of comeback album from the year 2000. Bruce Dickinson and Adrian Smith joined back in the band. And uh, in my opinion, this is very, very good, good album. And uh, like I said, very important album for me personally. We played uh, the song Blood Brothers several times with my friend in the early. 2000s and uh, it's on very cool very cool uh, gatefold and uh, nice thick inner sleeves and I have to say that uh, This is in uh, near mint condition. Excellent, excellent, excellent condition. And uh, I paid uh, 
100 euros from the album, including the postage. So that's uh, very, very much for me because, uh, like I said in, in my previous video, 55 euros uh, has been the most I've paid from uh, one album so far. So 100 euros from this was uh, very much, but on the other hand, uh, it seems to be even more expensive, especially if you find it in this uh, this kind of co condition, it can be uh, near 200 euros. And uh, the weird thing is that it's picture disc. And you know how much I hate picture discs, but uh, like I said, this is the only only one of person from the album and uh, probably the most uh, important missing piece from my Iron Maiden collection. So even though this was very expensive I'm, I'm very happy to finally have this this album in my collection and uh, vinyl collecting is an interesting hobby why the hell you pay 100 euros from a picture disc which you can't even listen to uh, when you can find a CD for one euro or uh, listen to the album on Spotify for free. There's absolutely no sense, but uh, still, I'm very, very happy to get this. So, I don't think there should be any sense in in a hobby like this if it brings you on a good mood so fuck it yeah. someone even could think this some kind of as a, some kind of investment i will get my money back on this if i ever want to sell this but i I highly doubt that this is absolutely one of my vinyl holy grails or it's not a grail for me anymore when I have this now in my hands. Maybe this is some kind of a ground jewel of my vinyl collection nowadays. So this was some kind of uh, birthday special of my recent vinyl finds. Uh, thanks for watching and uh, please leave a comment and uh, if you have something to ask about these vinyl releases please let me know. Write a message from the comment section and uh, Thanks for watching. Uh, I have still six loads of vinyl I haven't showed you. And uh, for example, uh, um, very many Finnish LPs. Please let me know if you want to see those. Lots of Finnish music and uh, some other other cool stuff too. And uh, I'm planning to make a music room tour pretty soon. I hope I can make it. Uh, so stay tuned. Until next time.
Cheers.